So let's talk about failure because everybody likes to talk about failure, right? Right? Hi, my name is Zulavaye. I'm a personal branding videographer. And this episode is going to be super cool because it's going to be a real life example of a personal failure that I had just this week. So I read this book a while back. The title of the book is Sometimes You Win, Sometimes You Learn. And that's a quote that I heard many other influencers saying, but I didn't realize that it was the title of the book also. Yeah, what a perfect example uh, to bring to this uh, video of because of the recent failure that I have. See, I do videos for other people who are expert coaches and all that stuff, and they're building their personal brands. And I do the video for them to build trust instantly when people go to their websites. However, I'm building my personal brand myself. And it's very different to build a personal brand for myself than helping other people. It's weird because I am very good behind the camera. I'm not very good in front of the camera. This is a skill that I'm learning now. So this is what happened. I gave a presentation yesterday. I was preparing for this uh, presentation for like a week now. I did some notes and did some drafts and then did the drafts again and I edited the drafts and so on and so forth. So I made a little script and I rehearsed that script for like two, three times. I rehearsed it a few times. Uh, however, I'm used to giving presentations but not talking about my personal brand for like 15 minutes straight. I, hey, I even sang in front of uh, hundreds of people before when I, back in the day where I had like my own garage band and yes I've been I'm very comfortable giving live presentations this was a zoom presentation and this was the first time that I was going to talk about trust visuals and what happened in the first five minutes I bomb. I bomb bad. You see, uh, I'm not used to giving presentations on Zoom. I have used Zoom before and as for taking corporate trainings or stuff like that, but I've never given a presentation. And I talked to a friend of mine after the fact that he's a product manager, so he has a lot of experience giving Zoom presentations, and he also has a lot of experience talking in front of people. And he told me the same thing. He told me, yeah, giving a live presentation is very different from giving a Zoom presentation. Yeah, I probably should have talked to him before all this. Anyways, adversity is a better teacher than success if you want to learn. And also, to quote uh, one of my favorite uh, influences from Mythbusters, failure is always an option. We need to embrace failure because that's, like I said, that's where we learn from it. And also, if you have the mindset like a scientist running experiments, you want to test your hypothesis, you want to test your theories, you want to test what you have learned. And despite that, I have studied personal branding, uh, follow people like Gary Vaynerchuk, Seth Godin, Chase Chavez, and I need to go out there and show myself, and it's going to be a process, and I'm going to fall on my face a few times. So there are many components of learning. I'm going to mention two of them because they're highly applicable to the situation that just happened to me this week. Number one, for learning, you have to have the intention to learn, to be mindful of learning. You have to wake up every day and ask yourself, what are you going to learn today? Sometimes we do activities and we engage in projects but we are not having the conscious uh, intention to learn and we just kind of like wing it without uh, having a methodical process on your mind says hmm let's see how i can learn this better and for silver lines for what happened to me i knew there was a chance of failure and i knew that i was not just going to nail and come naturally to do a public presentation, I knew that I need to go out there 
and talk about my brand more and talk more in public and as time goes by I learn each time to get better at it because it doesn't come natural to me I'm more like a natural introvert than an extrovert and that has never stopped me from socializing with people but it's a whole different ball game we're going to do a public presentation the second component is having the humility to learn because ego is always going to be there nagging on your brain I'm going to do a separate video in the future about ego because there's a whole nother ball game with that so there's a quote that I read actually this week and the quote says humility does not mean that you think less of yourself it means that you think of yourself less think about that for a moment you know just grab those two sentences you know humility does not mean that you think less of yourself it does not mean that you have low self-esteem it does not mean that you berate yourself it doesn't mean any of those things it means that you get out of your own head that is humility so what will I do? I'll get back in the horse. I'll search for another opportunity to do another presentation and I'm just going to do it again. And I'm going to do it again. And I'm going to do it again. I'm going to keep narrating my journey of building a personal brand and just going to keep learning and keep growing. So question for you guys, what have you learned from your failures? Now, comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, give a like. It helps the channel and consider subscribing. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to follow the channel.